the M4 Championship is currently every MLBB player's hot topic for discussion right now. And I know for a fact that M4 impacts players and their choices in hero and playstyle. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I will be giving you some insights and analysis on the match that happened between Todak and Onik on the first day of the M4 Championship and how Todak secured the win. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com. As usual, the diamonds will be delivered within an hour. First, we will go over Todak's ban. Todak's first ban was Lilia, which is reasonable and rational as their opponent's son's signature hero is Lilia followed up by Kaja. Next, they have decided to ban 1-1. Looks like they have done their research since CW's 1-1 can be nasty and Todak are no taking risk. Next ban goes to Lolita and after that they ban 2 which means one of Kiboy's signature heroes has been disabled resulting in 3 signature hero bans for Onyx. Now let's analyze Onyx ban. The first band goes to Joy, the next band goes to Valentina, Blue gets banned from Team Onik, Hayabusa is next up on the band list. And remember guys, normally we would not ban Hayabusa and all, but these are pro players and they know what's best of their teams and they know their weaknesses and their strength. So this might be all according to their strategy. And finally we have a final band which will be Akai. Let's analyze their lineup now. Team Todak's lineups are as follows. KD will be going as their team goal laner. Yu will be going as their mage. Hilda will be going as their team's roamer. Ling will be going as their core. Masha will be going as the experienced laner. Moving on to Onyx lineup. Beatrix will be going as the goal laner. Fredrin will be going as experienced laner for his team. Paramis will be going as their roamer, Fanny will be going as their core, Kadita will be going as their team's match. Let's hop into analyzing their game now. Straight into the game, we can see Masha and Hilda ready to invade Onyx purple buff and Eve's positioning herself in the mid bush, which is a very good tactic to give away their opponent's early game since Masha is a semi tank herself alongside Hilda's crowd control skills. They will be able to withstand blows in the early game and disrupt Fanny's jungle. You can see Yumski giving vision on Fanny's purple buff, making sure she doesn't get the buff as it will be deadly during the early game to give Fanny her buff which could make Todak's backline vulnerable. Team Todak is preventing Fanny from coming anywhere near her purple buff. Pretty small tactic but this is making a huge impact on the economy of Todak. As Todak's jungler is already level 5 while Fanny is still on 3. Getting kills is good but being as a core, you will have to secure and prioritize objectives which rival is doing a pretty good job at it and going as a core, you should always remember to prioritize objective and not kills. Hilda begins to distract Fanny in the purple buff and this distraction made Link secure the turtle. The blue buff is almost about to respawn, so Link decided to make sure in making Fanny's HP low, Fanny will have to recall and not be there when the blue buff respawns. Hilda is in the enemy area but is not overextending or initiating any fights but just peeking through the bushes revealing Onyx location and making sure his team is also aware of whereabouts of their opponent. Todak doesn't hesitate to take down Lord the moment it spawns. And you should also take note as even though if you are winning the game, always know not to get carried away as there will be a chances of your opponent having a comeback. Todak allows Fanny to take the buff while they make an exchange for taking down Lord. In this big gank, Team Todak stayed composed and maintained their position which helped them get a trade of 1-4-3 and it is a pretty much a good trade for Team Todak 
as they will now be able to push one of their inhibitor turrets. Being a roamer, your job is to provide vision of enemy's location which I think Yumsky is doing pretty good job by going around his opponent's jungle again, making his team confident enough to take load down. Here if joins out Team Onik with her ultimate and paves the way for the Lord to make its entrance. Here in this amazing gank, Team Onik defended their base by distracting the Lord out of their crystal to minimize the damage dealt to their base. And you can also see Fredrin used his taunt skill to pull his opponent's attention towards him. And Fanny here waiting for the perfect moment to come and finish one of the team's Todex member. But in another intense game, Masha dived into the mid bush taking all the damage of his team. Maybe he knew their location or maybe it was just a random die but it is still worked out for team Todak. Here he vaulted to join out team Onik once again. and Masha prevented Fredrin from defending their base using distraction as their key to winning this intent match against Onik. Overall in this match we can see how well maintained and disciplined Todak was, maximizing the use of the map and making the best out of the small tactics which led them into a glorious victory. I had fun analyzing this match. Let me know if you want more content like this down in the comment section below. Here are some of my personal favorite moments from this match. And that was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official. I'm here.